Battle Cry of Freedom by Nakma Nordzin. Part 2 The Slogans. Slogan 39 Practice all the teachings with a single intention. Now, Jo Tam Che Chig Gib Ja. The single intention is to ride the mind in order to benefit others. My wish in buying Dee from the riding school was to secure her a future and to liberate her from what looked to me like a pretty miserable existence. She worked in riding lessons three hours a day, six days a week. All the working horses were stabled throughout the working day. In the summer, Dee was turned out overnight in a field on her own. In the winter, she would be in a stable for up to 18 hours a day, only turned out for two or three hours in the morning. I had always wanted to own my own horse and had romantic fantasies about what this would be like. When, at age 50, I did at last own a horse, D, many of the fantasies of horse ownership were shattered. The reality bore little resemblance to what I'd imagined. Some things were indeed marvellous and some aspects were not so good. Nevertheless, I took responsibility for my decision to take on D, and experienced great joy and satisfaction seeing her change and start to have a good life. It was wonderful to let her live until she was old and die of natural causes. It was wonderful to see her living in a herd and no longer in solitary isolation. Many of my desires in owning a horse were not fully fulfilled in owning D. Nevertheless, I took on the responsibility for D, and my primary intention of giving her a better life was, I believe, fulfilled. I am satisfied that I succeeded in that. Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche says, The one intention is to have a sense of gentleness toward others and a willingness to be helpful to others, always. It is always pleasurable to help others. It is the joy of the path of awakening. Awakening has the two aspects of view and intention. These can be called ultimate and relative awakening. The view is the realisation of the non-duality of emptiness and form, self and other, existence and non-existence. This is the felt recognition of the lack of inherent identity. The intention is to give priority to the needs of others and be of benefit to them. Emphasis can be placed on view or intention, but ultimately they are the same. Judging what is kind is easier than judging what is wise, so it is always better to err on the side of kindness and benefiting others. The single intention of benefiting others is the focus. Kindness is not always wise. Sometimes trying to be kind in supporting someone in a situation does not help that person escape it, and there could be a wiser approach. Nevertheless, such kindly intent is free of blame. Assuming the capacity for wisdom, however, can be dangerous and far from kind. It could be deemed that there is a need to be cruel to be kind. Practitioners may believe this is skillful, wrathful activity, when in fact it is just stupidly stumbling around hurting people. The only internal dampsig is wisdom. The only external dampsig is kindness. The vow of the awakening hero is a little like an extraordinary joke. The awakening hero vows to remain and not attain full awakening until all other beings are awakened. Yet the fact of the vow, if it is maintained, guarantees full awakening. It guarantees full awakening because it embraces the non-duality of view and intention. To live in a manner that upholds this vow is itself the cause of awakening. Nacho Rinpoche and Kandro De Chen say, Kindness is where we start. Compassion means so much more, in a certain sense, than simply being kind. 
Compassion means kindness, but it also means communication. Fierce, florid and fecund communication. The single intention of all the teachings and of the practice of mind training is to awaken and be of benefit to everyone and everything, everywhere.